Hi, welcome back to the Rolling Robson. We've got a couple of jobs to do on the van today. Uh, I said we bought a used van, so that's kind of be, to be expected. One of the things is, if you can see it from here, this little seats connector, it's got a little pin up here in the top corner, but for some reason, the pin keeps coming out on some of them, so I don't know whether the person's tried to fix it, but not done the world's best job. So what we're gonna do basically, is we're gonna take these two screws out then we're going to put the arm back in, put the arm back in correctly when it's off and then screw it back in. So we'll just sort that out. So the first thing is to take the two screws out. Here is the connector now taken off and what you can see from somebody here is that they've kind of bent the pin. So we're just going to push that back in. So what basically happens is that this pin goes through the little hole at the end there. So I don't know if you can see that. But so there's a little hole at the end here and that basically goes through there. So what we're going to do is we're going to position that on and then we're going to screw it back in essentially. So we're going to pull the pin through with a small screwdriver to get it through, then line it up, push the pin through here when it's off and then we're going to put it back up. I don't know if you can see that, but after a little bit of persuasion, we've managed to get that to go back onto there. We had to actually pull this down because the last person who'd had it hadn't pulled the pin all the way through what you've got to make sure is that this hole here has the pin through so i'm just going to push it through a bit more and all we do now is we put it back up to where it was originally and then we screw and there we go it's all back together what you might have to do like i've done is you might have to open the window slightly and you might have just like this little pull bar inside so you can just see it here that's the main bar the little pull bar you might have to adjust that just to get it to exactly where you want because you don't want to be putting any more screws into here if possible uh, as in like extra holes what you want to do is try and keep the holes where they are so that's the first job done so the second part of this video is just replacing this fly screen. There's actually nothing wrong with it in terms of its uh, operation. But I don't know if you can see, get a bit closer there, it is absolutely filthy. So it's been here probably since it was brand new. Now I could clean it up with some soap and water, but these things are a little bit flimsy and uh, can easily break. So what I've done instead, which isn't exactly my minimalist ways, but I've done it because it makes life a little bit easier, is to buy a replacement. And here's a replacement. So all we're going to do is we're going to put this one back up and it was quite easy to take the other one down. I'm going to give it a quick clean before I put the new one back up. And all it does essentially is on one side there's two clips. So you can see them there. One and two. And the other side is just one clip. So that'll literally just clip back up in a second. But before that I'm just going to give it a quick clean because it is a bit grimy and a bit dirty. So all you do to fit these is I've just put it up temporarily because it's hard to hold the camera and uh, actually get it in. It's just put these two little clips in first. One, two, that little plastic that goes in there. And then that should now, easier said than done, with one hand, clip in. And that's now nice and clean. So just last thing is to make sure you shut the window before we go in case it rains. So I hope that's been useful for you, looking at how we changed the fly screen in the bathroom. That's 400 by 400 mil, and it was only a £10 for that. And also how we fixed the Sykes uh, window clip on the side there. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that's been useful, helping uh, look at how we fix the Seats uh, blind clip. It is a bit hot in here, so I am a little bit hot and sweaty at the moment. Um, and also looking at how we fixed the skylight in the... Um, well, the fly screen for the skylight. And for a tenor side, it's probably easier than giving it a good scrub because that might end up uh, breaking it. If you don't already, give us a thumbs up and um, if you haven't already. And if you don't already, please click the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications. So we'll catch you later.